Leo, what it got there, Leo? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot back at it again. Yes, indeed, because you know I can't move a step forward without my Leos. Y'all know I miss you. You are, listen, y'all don't do me. Y'all know I need my loving. Mm, you know I need my loving. I need my hugging. Hold on, Leo. Mm -mm. Listen, y'all been behaving yourself, Leo. Listen. <laughs> Leo, y'all ain't been breaking no hearts this time. What we doing in May, Leo? Okay, would it be with you? <laughs> okay, listen. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Y'all got y'all coffee? Mm, y'all see my beat down coffee cup? I know y'all got y'all one coffee cup that y'all just had for years and you refuse to drink out of any other cup. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna have to let this one go. Whatever. Anyway, listen. So. Shout out to all my new subscribers. If you guys would like to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that About tab. What you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. And the way that you do that is you click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. And you can find that link by clicking the About tab on my YouTube page, all right? Book the type of reading that you want, and then you need to double back to my YouTube page and link with me. My Instagram is right under the booking link on the About tab. After you book your um, your your meeting with me, um, you need to contact me so that we can link up on that specified day. Or if I can get you in earlier, I surely will, okay? So click that Instagram link, send me a message, a private message on Instagram, and say, Hey, Rez, this is so-and-so. I'm meeting with you on this date. What's up? You know, and I'm gonna connect with you and we're gonna vibe out right there. Now, if you don't have Instagram, you can always use Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. And if you don't wanna keep it after, you know, we finish our um, meeting, you can delete it. But only thing you need to do is download Google Hangouts if you don't have Instagram. Download Google Hangouts and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, and send me a message and we could do the video chat there. I prefer to only do video chats because we can you know communicate with each other that way like that and you can ask questions and you know we can vibe off of each other's energy however if you don't feel comfortable with getting on camera or if you want a recap of your video what you need to do is book the add-on okay for a recap video which is a private YouTube upload okay so if you do not want to get on camera with me book your reading and then also, uh, add put the ad on when you're booking your reading. And then send me a message on the platform. That way, when I get the messages from you about what you want to know, I can do the reading, upload it to YouTube, and then I'll reach back to you on that platform that we are communicating on. And I'll send you your private link that only you have access to. Okay? And the same thing for... The recap video after we do our recording I will send you a link to that video back on that platform that we've been communicating and you will have the video footage of the whole experience and it'll be yours forever forever ever um, if you want to send love to the page um, one of my clients gave me an awesome idea to start an Amazon wish list so um, you have two options if you want to send a love donation to the page or just send love to the page you can either um, check out my Amazon wish list that just has, you know, decks that I'm interested in and or you can send a dollar or two on the PayPal. OK, so those links again are in the description and as well as in the about tab. OK, so if you want to send love to the page, you can do so by checking out the Amazon wish list or you can send a dollar two or three to the PayPal. And thank you guys so much for the love and support. Let's get into the reading. OK, so. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. You know that they are one of my favorites, okay? I love me some Leos, and I know Leo is loving himself, Father God. Thank you so much for elevating us. Thank you so much for evolving us. Father, we have evolved so much. I mean, we, when we look at ourselves in the mirror in the morning, we just like, man... Salute to you, brother, or salute to you, sister. Like, you ever been so proud of yourself and feel so good about yourself? You look at yourself in the morning. When you get out of the shower, you take your time, you blot your face off, and you just look at yourself and be like, you know what? God damn it. Salute, motherfucker. You a bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, please, trust me. So, anyway. So, Father God, sorry for the cussing, because you know, 
Father, you know me. I cuss and I pray. And you, you know, you know me. And I already know you forgive me. So I could be forgetting who I'm talking to sometimes. But anyway, Father, we just feel good. We just feel so good. And I just feel like it's so much thankful to you. And because if we would have never, throughout everything we were going through, like touch into our faith and realize what you were trying to do in our life and, and how you were trying to move things and shape things around us so that we can be in this environment and we could just be in this safe haven that we're in right now. Because right now, Father, we feel protected. and Oh, my goodness. Oh, we feel so free and it's the springtime, Father God. Listen, <laughs> the sun just be shining down on the yo and we just excited and we just feel good and we blocking out things that we just don't want to deal with and we're unapologetic about it and we're just moving forward into happiness and just being rooted and grounded and secure in ourself and i feel like right now the only thing we need is ourself right now like leo just wants to feel and experience this new person that they are before they kind of introduce anybody into this world they want to enjoy their world by themselves for a moment so, you know, and a lot of people are not comfortable with being secluded like that. And respect to the people that do because that's a powerful person. Father, give the sign of Leo guidance for May. <laughs> Listen, I you know, give me give me guidance for the sign of Leo because I, I, I don't even know what I, I was about to say something, but I stopped myself because I want to see what's gonna come out. Cause it's just the energy that I'm feeling right now is on some real high level ball shit and it's like I'm in a league of my own <laughs> I, look, I, before I even pull the cards out I'm saying the energy is telling me I'm in a league of my own <laughs> ambition and perfection what I just told you they ain't a fucking league of their own come on now Hold on. How Wale said, respect my ambition, okay? Perfectionism. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's not the root of creativity. Oh, Jesus, I can't. Okay, hold on. Let me get a sip of my coffee because we're we, we not, we not doing the third grade read. We're not doing it. We're not doing the third grade reading today. Come on, Father. Hold on. Let me get mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me get it together. Hold on. Y'all give me a second. Mm -mm. We ain't starting it like this. Okay. Perfectionism. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism. I'm trying to tell you, listen. Leo is... They just came out of their cocoon. They just blossom but like it's springtime do you it's their season do you feel what i'm saying they are in their nature and right now they are learning how to use these beautiful wings and fly and they telling people listen you might be upset but you got to respect my ambition i ain't out here trying to be perfect and god gave me the permission to make mistakes you know what i'm saying because i'm in a whole new form i'm in a whole new body i am birthed anew you know what i'm saying so and it's not that I'm trying to make mistakes. And I feel like I feel like there are some people out there that might feel slighted by Leo because Leo isn't trying to be perfect for nobody. Leo is just trying to be Leo right now. And I feel like Leo don't want nobody attaching itself to them right now because they're focused on their personal ambitions. You know what I'm saying? And learning this new world like they it's like right now is not the time for me to invite nobody into my world you know what i'm saying and i might make, make mistakes maybe i might not be effectively communicating to people but you got to respect my ambition like i'm out here doing me you know what i'm saying it says ambition may i offer all my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond beyond the mind's imagination please use me for the highest good ambition 
ambition. May I offer all my deepest longings to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond the mind's imagination. Please use me for the highest good, God. And somebody singing to you in the background talking about I want you around. Mm-hmm. Look, she said, come to, come to, I think I need you here. It's hard for me to keep these feelings to myself, Leo. <laughs> For gravity, I'd rather stay up here. Can get away. really springy vibey feeling like this song right here like leo i feel like this spring leading into this summer y'all gonna have a, 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 a few like you know like how you watch those movies and it's like they're like love romances it's like motherfuckers is like by the water and just like these real serene tranquil uh you know type of uh, ooh, okay now yes these very serene tranquil type of environments and stuff like that and i i don't know i see like leo on yachts or like on the water or so I, I see leo spending a lot of time like on a boat i don't know if you fishing or if you just sitting on a yacht with your glasses on and a, and a glass of a cognac looking like who daddy Kane or something like that like i don't know the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Huh. All right, so listen. Listen here. Listen to me. All right? So, there was a situation off the break. I think... <sighs> So there was a situation, the early onset of this situation, Leo looked at the plan, looked at the people involved in the situation, and tried to map out uh, a plan to get to their destination and how they were going to build this comfortable foundation, this home, you see? So in the upright, this ten of wands... Before, you know, Leo starts to carry this burden, just like I said, I forgot what other um, reading it was. I think it was Gemini, where it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're going to the wood shop and it's like you're looking at the plans, you're looking at the ideas, you're looking at how far you got to go. And you got these 10 sticks that you about to take to go build this house. But the plan was, was that somebody else was supposed to help you carry these sticks. But they calling your phone talking about, oh yeah, I'm stuck in traffic. What, nigga? Like, but I, what? What you mean? I thought we was, what? what? Okay. So, like, Leo looked at this shit and they mapped it out. And they figured out how long it would take them to get where they need to go. Carrying all this shit by themselves when they wasn't supposed to. And Leo looked at this shit. They said, oh no, um... Because that ain't the way the plan had started out. You see what I'm saying? So you already fucking up with me already. You know what I'm saying? Because you want me to carry your burden all by myself. Well, I'm going to almost die. I killed myself trying to get to the other side of the goddamn river. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to get across a river with this on my back? Like, no. No. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I just, I don't think so. I don't, I don't want to do this. This is, this is going to be too much on me. And before I even set foot on the road and end up collapsing somewhere down the line and making a fool of my damn self. Like, I'm just not even going to do this. Like, if ain't nobody else going to help me with this shit, why would I, why would I make myself look stupid like that? Because right now, I'm not about being a perfectionist, but I'm not about to sit here and be stupid neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, respect my ambitions, but you got to be smart at the same time. You got to be smart and calculated. You can't just be doing anything, you know? And it's like this motherfucker is trying to sit there and convince them, oh, no, you can make it over there. I've seen other people do this before. Okay, well, that's, that, that was them, okay? Because I'm not about to carry this shit. You understand? 
I got other shit going on for me. <laughs> like, I'm not that desperate. You feel me? I'm not that desperate. I'm not no lonely sheep sitting out in the cold begging for someone to let me in for shelter and shit like that. Nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, my environment and shit for me has been popping off for me ever since I decided to not go forward with this because Leo was starting to learn before you even put yourself out there look at what you getting yourself involved in and, and, and figure out if it's worth the burden or if you better off like by yourself you know what I'm saying you better off on your own because at the end of the day if you would have cur if you would have did this, and if you would have did this, you would have you would have thought it was okay to carry this burden, and then you would have got to where you was, and realized motherfuckers had started the party without you, and you locked out there in the cold with all of these sticks with nobody. You almost killed yourself trying to get there. You tired? You weak? You hungry? You beat down? You need bandages and shit, you all bloodied up and beaten and shit like that. And they locked you out while they got the light on inside partying, enjoying Thanksgiving feasts. And you out there being treated like a lonely sheep, like you ain't even one of their kind. But you carried something that was supposed to benefit everybody. You almost killed yourself doing it only to get nothing to get shut out. You see what I'm saying? Leo said, I'm not, I'm not that stupid. And if there's one thing that I learned throughout all of the bullshit I went in 2018 and before 2018, said so don't put myself, don't even start something that if, if it ain't worth finishing. Don't start something that ain't worth finishing. If everybody ain't going to come to the table and make this shit work together. You said you was going to meet me at the wood shop, but you sitting up there talking about um, you got stuck in traffic, bitch. What? And I'm having to walk with all this shit. Fuck y'all. I ain't doing that shit. I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm good as shit. I'm letting go of the, even trying to, like, put any effort towards that shit. You know what I'm saying? Why when I'm good on my own? I'm good on my own. So why would I sit up there and put myself in a situation where I would lose potentially financially? I'm going to potentially lose money. I'm going to potentially damage myself or damage how I'm look like fuck y'all <laughs> that shit that, that that's simple mathematics me doing shit by myself no True. me possibly coming after I did all that and not getting no reward no not getting no acknowledgement not getting no help not getting no aid no okay ashes to ashes dust to dust yo I listen that fire in me is burning towards new beginning. And not only that, but that flame is being fed into the soil and the roots of this tree that is growing. Oh, honey, the fruit that is being bared from there, you're going to call it a, 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 a fire star fruit, okay? It's going to look like it got flames bursting inside, okay? <laughs> Fire star fruit. You ain't never seen nothing like this in, the, in your life. Listen, you see, and I explained this to one of my clients. Um, you know how um, natural forest fires or, 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 yeah, natural forest fires that naturally happen every year that like burn everything down to soot. But the soot, that forest fire, it, that, that soot enriches the um, soil and Everything regrows again that next season. And the, the, the grass and the trees is the most lush riches in the fruits and stuff that it bears. is Something is so unique and so different because nowhere else in earth does the nature grow and then destroy itself naturally only to grow again to bear fruit that is something so unique to them because of its death and rebirth type of thing you see what i'm saying so um that's kind of like that that scorpion energy that death and rebirth type of thing like that and i feel like that is what leo was going through that transformation you see what i'm saying and with that Leo is more cognizant of shakes and fakes. They're more cognizant of uh, people that are 
snakes in the grass as you can see the snakes in the grass and as you can see Leo is on lookout okay no this is the tennis sports tennis sports I'm sorry the tennis sports Leo is on lookout okay because before Leo didn't see being betrayed and bamboozled and bewildered and just like feeling like someone just try to destroy them on the inside out it's one thing for someone to get into a physical battle to actually fight with someone but it's one thing where someone does some shit to you where it's mental damage you know what i'm saying and you had to rebuild yourself from the mind i feel like leo almost felt like i wish you would have just punched me in my face and that was it but that wasn't it you know what i'm saying and with everything that Leo has learned throughout this time, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I made mistakes, yeah. And I, and, I, and I definitely look dumb out here. And I'm not trying to be perfect. And God told me that making mistakes, even though it's not intended, but it's the root of, of, of creativity and change. And me going through what I went through, it made me more aware of these type of people, of these type of environments. And you see, I got, I'm, look, I'm set on ready. You know, set on ready. I got my goddamn uh, sword in my on my side. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I feel like he's walking back and forth, walking back and forth, like surveying the land, looking for trees and looking for intruders and stuff like that. But it looks like you might need to look a little bit harder because, as you can see, it's somebody hiding in the grass. Okay trying to sneak attack once again okay so it might be I honestly feel like Leo is somebody that you let go of you let go of it was too much it was too much going on there it was too much going on there and I'm saying and it might be a Scorpio y'all might be dealing with a Scorpio Y'all might be dealing with a Scorpio or um, a Taurus, um, Virgo, or Capricorn for sure. Because there's a lot of pinnacles here. And you're the fire. You're the fire. This is, you know, this is, I feel like someone might be trying to come and do some type of sneak attack. And you're more aware. You're in this new environment now because you're surveying your land just to make sure it ain't nobody with no bullshit there. You walk it back and forth because God gave you this new land. As you can see, the castle's in the background. So you see the fabric of the type of people that live here in this area. But God brought you here because he wants you to build your foundation here. And you're like, all right, that's cool. Let me just walk the grounds real quick just to make sure I ain't no fuck niggas, you know, lurking around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? But you need to look in the bushes. You've been searching for snakes in the grass. You need to look for fakes in the bushes. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because you already learned about this shit. And you're surveying this land before you start to build yet. You know. Because I feel like there is definitely someone. Whoever this was that was supposed to bring the car to the wood shop. To help you pick up that shit. Whoever. Whoever. <laughs> whoever you made this plan with. The person who put the order in at the wood shop and they told you that they was coming to meet you with the car so y'all could drive to your new destination and build this shit. And they called you with that bullshit. And you was like, oh, for real? Oh, no, fuck all of this shit altogether. And you dipped off. <laughs> you, you, you dipped off and went to your new shelter and this person is sitting out there locked out looking like a lonely sheep trying to figure out what the fuck. Like, no, like you was bullshitting. You was bullshit and you wanted me to do some shit by myself. No, fuck you. I re No, I rebuke all that shit in the name of Jesus. I, I let all that shit go. You, the plans, everything. And I moved the fuck on where I said I was going to move any fucking way just without you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this person is a little butthurt about that shit. And you surveying the land, protecting your environment. You know what I'm saying? Because you already done dealt with idiots before. And you just want to make sure that your space is, is, is secure. Ain't nobody coming in for no sneak attack. And, and, and someone is. Because they don't want whatever the plans that y'all had going on. They don't want this shit to end. 
They don't want that shit to end. And they sit there hiding in the bushes. So it's possible that, you know, Leo, someone is watching you. Watching you and planning, plotting, and strategizing because they see your ambition. They see you in your new land. And <laughs> there's two tens here. Of finality and completion. <laughs> You dropping a burden, not even dropping a burden. You didn't even pick it up. Like you didn't even, you didn't even touch a piece of wood at all. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to tell you. I, I really feel like on a high level, like it's been a lot of people, a lot of opportunities for like new relationships and shit like that. Opportunities for Leos, and you know. Like if it makes sense to them, like they'll engage and get to know people. They're not promising nobody. No new, like, commitment or nothing like that. But they're all down to get to know people. But at the end of the day, they didn't just blossom into this butterfly. Like, they're not really ready to just jump, jump all in like that. And, and they're not going to waste their time on no bullshit. Like, they're not about to waste their time on no bullshit. Because you got to understand this. This full pinnacle person, they got people begging them to take their pinnacles. Like, that's what type, like... Leo got people begging them to take their pentacles. But Leo don't want none of y'all shit. Don't none of don't don't none of y'all add up to me. Like I just I'm good. I'm good. Like Leo don't give up. Like respect my ambition. I want something better. Fuck wrong with y'all. Like no. And somebody a little butt hurt about that shit. Somebody real butt hurt. Awareness in reverse. I don't think that did like Leo is aware that this person feels this way. Cause it's not like because listen, you see how this circle of completion, this circle of completion is above the crown. You see what I'm saying? This is someone who is aware and someone who's completing cycles. You know what I'm saying? This person in the reverse, you know, I don't I don't think that they cared about like completing a cycle with whoever this part they didn't pick the cycle up at all to feel like it needed any completion so they're completely not aware that this person feels like this because they ain't never begin do, do you feel what i'm saying like they never begin they ne to leo they never really begin began anything with you anyway <laughs> like they're not focused on anybody right now you see that zero they're focused on their new beginnings. Like, they don't have nobody on their mind. So, like, they're completely unaware that this person is all ass hurt about this situation and, and mad about, <laughs> you know? Like, I made plans with you. You didn't do what you said you was going to do. Uh, okay. I followed my intuition like shit. They told me you was on some bullshit and I kept it moving. Like, what the fuck is... What the hell? The hell? Fertility in reverse. So I wasn't mad because, yeah, this shit didn't grow. Like, your intuition told you that this shit was not going to grow. And you, you followed your destiny. Like, I really do on a high level. And I said in the beginning in the prayer, like, I feel like some people might be feeling some type of way because maybe the way Leo went about certain shit. And it's not that they intentionally trying to hurt nobody. It's just like... It just don't care. I mean, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Leo just don't care. They don't care enough to, the. It. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, Leo just, like, they. Listen, respect my ambition. Like, this shit wasn't adding enough for me. I moved on. This shit wasn't growing. I used my intuition. I ain't, I don't, ain't nothing. Listen, ain't nothing pop off here for real, for real. Ain't nothing pop off here. I move forward. Like, what? Respect a nigga ambition. Like, what the fuck you want me to do? Try to get myself to some shit that ain't at nah, when I No, no, no. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated. Listen, y'all give me some guidance. Um, Tell me what, what does Leo have to say to this person? Leo is saying respect my ambition. I'm growing, I'm moving forward. I already told, and I keep wanting to say, I feel like I, 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 
Leo makes me say this every time I do this read. And like, I told y'all, I just got out of a relationship. I'm just dating. I am not taking none of this shit seriously. You know what I'm saying? We're just having fun getting to know each other. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to make it seem like we just having fun trying to make it seem like you a fun girl. You a fun boy or nothing. Like, I really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But... It ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it, I feel like Leo has been having this conversation over and over again. Like, if this shit add up to something, it add up, add up to something. It'll just, it'll be destiny and it'll just fucking happen. Like, stop asking me, like, what are we doing and all this shit? We just friends. We just chilling. Like, why are you, you not trying to act like you're aware of what I'm telling you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to build plans and to build a house and all this shit. And Leo was like, what? All right, that sound good or whatever. Like, all right, I'm, I'm each at the woodshop. We'll see how much this shit costs and, like, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But then you ain't even do what you, like, you ain't even bringing what you, st anyway. I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. This is what Leo was saying. I keep comparing you to others. That's not good. You still take my breath away. Okay, listen. You listen, <laughs> they thought about reaching out to you, but then they stopped. They, I mean, they keep comparing you to other people, which isn't a good thing, you know. My family upbringings are bigger factors than I realize. Leo's, Leo, listen, Leo is, I feel like it's something about, something about whatever plan, whatever it was that I was talking about, where you, Leo. I feel like Leo has issues with abandonment. Leo has abandonment issues, and that shit triggered it. It was, it triggered them when they went to that wood shop, and they and you said that you was gonna meet them there with the truck to carry the wood to build this foundation, and then it said, then it says you are irreplaceable. So I really do feel like this person that Leo was dealing with. I kind of want to say, I just heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was kind of, like, forced or something. Leo feels like they made it very clear from the jump. You know what I'm saying? That they really like you. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're irreplaceable. I feel like spirit-wise is something that you brought to the table that was very touching to them. And they really admire you. But, like, they kept trying to tell you, listen, I'm just going to take it slow. Like, this is a brand new beginning for me. Like... I just want to take this shit slow, but I think that the energy that was just, you know, I feel like it was a lot of lust there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe just the sex and, uh, oh, damn. This how y'all feeling? Y'all screaming out at Leo like this? Because I'm talking in, in this person like, no, bitch. Let me tell you what really happened. Okay. All right. What what really happened? And they say, your intensity frightens me and allures me all at the same time. Hmm. Someone likes Leo's aggressiveness. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay. How could you still love me after all I've done? Oh. I still love you. Wow. Wow. Being a part has been life changing for me. So Leo, ever since you left and you went and you built your own house and shit on your own foundation and you surveying your land and you protecting and you guarding yourself because you already know niggas be out here with the bullshit. I feel like this person, like I said, I feel like this person is watching, <laughs> like they're watching you and trying to figure out a kind of sneak attack to come in. I don't feel like they're trying to hurt Leo, but I just feel like Leo went on and, and was successful without them. Leo makes them feel like they're not worthy or they don't have any value in their life because it just moved on. And Leo is so guarded. Like, they're guarding their mind. They're guarding their environment. They're guarding everything. And this person doesn't want Leo to be like that with them. This death card in reverse, like I said, Leo, y'all could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio or y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Like, they don't want this to, to end because, you know, 
said, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. So, you inspire me. Yeah, Leo inspired. Leo just saying, you know what, well, fuck this shit. Like, because they fucked up. Like, this person fucked up. Like, whatever it was, like, you should have just got the fuck in the car and you should have left 15 minutes earlier so you could have got to the wood shop on time. Or did you just, like, was doing something else with somebody else or something and you was distracted and didn't have no intentions of meeting Leo at the wood shop. You just knew that the love that and the connection that you and Leo had together that Leo would just be bold and strong because you know they're fire sign and shit. They're big and courageous and bold and daring and shit like that. That Leo could just carry all that burden by itself and you was just going to meet them back at the house. And Leo said, no, the fuck you not. I thought about you a lot lately. You should have just met Leo at the wood shop. Like, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, Leo, you taught a lot to Leo about their ability and that they, they could do shit on their own and that they actually find more happiness being by themselves. Because I really, on a high level, feel like a lot of people have been trying to maybe force or push their energy on Leo because Leo's I feel like y'all are tall y'all sexy y'all got nice ass body or even I even see like a tall kind of fluffy little sexy big daddy with a cute little you know you know with the cute little round bellies you just be like ooh you just like a, a little sweet sugar bear you know what I'm saying or you can be in the little biker clubs and shit like a fucking rebel and just ah you know like ooh yeah, oh, y'all stop me. Y'all stop me now. Stop me now. Listen. <laughs> Respect Leo and bitch out here. And Leo for my fucking gangsta out this junk. Like, you feel me? And it's just like, they unbothered. And they just like, you show Leo that they feel better on their own. And they got to trust their intuition. They'll know when they when the right person will come in. They'll feel it. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you are irreplaceable to them because of what you taught them about their self. And about, I don't need to hold on to stuff that ain't benefiting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might take some work. But if I'm going to carry this shit, I'm going to carry this shit on my own for my own. I'm not going to carry this shit for somebody that ain't even going to try to help me and shit. Fuck no. And they're going to cry because I don't, I, I walled your ass out. You ain't deserve to be here any motherfucking way. Brown. Key. Green. 222 two, two in reverse. Give me additional energy. Yeah. Give me some additional twin flame love oracle guidance. Three. Okay. Give me one more. Like I told you, Leo ain't worried about no partnerships and shit. Loyalty. They want loyalty. They ain't got time for this shit. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Okay, so right now, Leo is focusing on the color brown. The color brown represents ground and stability and foundation. Right now, um... Leo is working on strengthening this because it's not where they want it to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I told you, Leo is at a brand new beginning. Like, you know, you can see this other person's castle back here. Leo has to build their own castle. That's why God brought him here to this new foundation. Because they're like, you are fiery and passionate. You got all this drive and shit. All right, cool. Go get the sticks and shit like that. Go go to the yard. Go to, to the wood yard. I'm giving you all this land. You already see what their castle looks like. Build yours bigger. You better than them anyway. But, you know, build. you got all this. Build your castle. You know? So, it's like they are still building their foundation right now. And they're not done. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they just started building their foundation. And I think the thing that kind of threw them off is because... Other people were trying to invite themselves in on their new territory before Leo even got a chance to really get rooted and grounded in their territory. And Leo's like, no, 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 no. Y'all fucking my shit up right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got, I just got this key to my new place and I can't even turn the key in the door and unlock this new environment because... All of y'all trying to attach yourself to me. Y'all angry. I'm having to watch and put security system. Like, I feel like Leo is... 
before they even put the lock in the door or even put furniture in there like they're surveying their new house and, and did they just build and shit by themselves because this motherfucker's in the bushes looking at Leo like oh this motherfucker ain't want to build no house with me but this motherfucker over there building their own house and shit like that and you know while Leo building they just feel like well, I feel like somebody watching me and shit you know what I'm saying so Leo like man before I even sleep one night up in this joint I'm about to get ADT and all this shit I want sisters on every door or uh, the windows um the door everything I want the camera surveying the whole fuck. I want everything before I unlock this door. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to feel safe and secure around this motherfucker. Because I feel like some bitch niggas is a lurking. You know what I'm saying? Listen. <laughs> Leona came into the green. Came into the green. Prosperity, health, and abundance. <laughs> Leo, listen. Your trees in the back of the <laughs> Lee, yo, what it be, yo. Motherfuckers is big pussy ass man. Because they fucked up and they wasn't invited to the party. You ain't worried about new goddamn partnerships and shit. 222, two, two, partnerships and balance. Pay attention to the new people entering your life. Take time to balance your time and energy with existing ones. You don't give a fuck about none of them. You too busy building your house. I don't have no time for no relationships and balance and old and new. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. How can I bring this prosperity and this health and this wealth and this abundance to me if I'm letting y'all, y'all, y'all already trying to stress me out? Like, y'all already trying to stress me out. I ain't even put the key in my door yet. Y'all just trying to come in here and come in on my abundance and shit like that, man. When I, when I was trying to work with you and build this shit, you did not want to meet me. Okay. So stop trying to greet me now. Leave me thine fuck alone. Tuh. I'm focused on my trinity. And if you ain't one of these trinity, bitch, you ain't got nothing to do with me. So leave me the fuck alone. Trinity, mind, body, and soul. If you are not part of my mind, my body, and my soul, which you're not because you're not me, leave me the fuck alone. Because I'm trying to tell you, I'm... Them goddamn pit bulls and shit that I just put in my yard. Oh, yeah, they trying to eat meat, bitch. So keep lurking your ass in that goddamn bush if you want to. I'm going to let them motherfucking yeah out on you. And then let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> lurking through the bushes. Yeah, you don't know nothing about them two pit bulls I just got. Yeah. If you are not my mind, my body, and my soul, leave me the fuck alone. Tch. You are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. That's what Leo was doing. And Leo's like, listen, I'm sorry. I know I am not perfect. You know, maybe me just being ambitious and stuff like that. And I feel like it was possibly someone that let their self on. Because I don't even think that Leo was even doing a whole bunch for this person to feel like this. Because it ain't nothing even, I don't know. Listen, Leo's being loyal to theyself. The ugly duckling who grew up to be a swan. Okay? The ugly duckling who grew up to be a swan. Leo went through so much ugly shit in 2017 and 2018. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have blossomed and grown so fucking much. They have to be loyal and dedicated to their self right now if they want to get where they want to be in life. So excuse me and respect my ambition. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all motherfuckers mad because I'm not letting y'all distract me. Cause I got shit. Like what y'all want me to do? A be be a bum ass nigga. Be around around here looking for a bitch that I could come and live with and shit like that. What y'all hoes mad because I ain't bothered by y'all? Don't need y'all. Fuck out of here. Like that's y'all problem. Like y'all, y'all be too busy out here chasing around these bum ass niggas that want to use you and abuse you and shit. But then when y'all be around a boss ass nigga that just want to chill with you and shit and just trying to respect you and stuff like that, you don't know how to fucking act and you fuck the shit up for yourself. Cause y'all too busy fucking with fuck niggas. Nah, oh, man. I just told you to just chill the fuck out and shit. You was doing too much. The fuck. And the six of sword moving ahead. They are moving ahead. Like Leo don't have time for this shit. Leo is like, cause that wasn't me saying that. That's Leo. 
Okay? That is how Leo feels. And on a strong level, I feel the frustration that Leo has with women right now because it's like, yeah, I was a fuck nigga too. You know what I'm saying? And I think that Leo is looking at how them being the way that they used to be and how it kind of fucked up a lot of women's self-esteem and their ability to make wise decisions and the type like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like Leo feels like women like, you know what I'm saying? Like they like all of the drama and the confusion and the fuckery. It's like that. It's, a, it's, it's confusing right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not confusion. It's frustration because I just feel like women are distraction to this Leo man right now. And that's why they're moving forward. Like, they are tilling their land. They're building shit on their land. Like, they're, they're, they're only focused on moving forward. They're not focused on no relationships. They're not focused on none of that shit. Judgment. Karma review. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of shit that happened in their past that they are fixing. You know what I'm saying? They are making adjustments. And they are trying to be a, 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 um, a better person. They're not trying to be no perfectionist. But they're definitely trying to be a bigger per uh, be a better person. And one thing that they're trying to do is have their own. They don't want to have to need or want nobody for fucking nothing. And, and on a very high, high, high level, Leo is telling me, I don't want no bitch to ever say that she ever had to do a fucking thing for me. Like no one will ever throw that in my face again. Shrimp, <laughs> the heart of a lion. There you go. Listen, moving forward. Strength, four swords, healing, and receive and recovery, but receiving as well. Okay. Leo is healing by doing that self inner work, and what makes them feel good is building this home. I feel like a lot of y'all are like construction workers or something like that. Y'all like doing blue collar work. It makes you feel good about yourself. I said the king. What is this? The king of wands in reverse. So I honestly feel like Leo's not about no commitment right now. Leo's not committing themselves to nobody but themselves. Like, well, I don't know how many times I'm have to say that. Like, they're not. They're not. Leo is like healing old wounds. If they want to get their dick sucked or something like that, they're going to go ahead and yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like they're not committing themselves to no one, but their divine change. You know what I'm saying? That's that's They're not doing that. They're not about to do that. And they're not trying to lead nobody on. They feel like people need to listen. People need to listen and respect my ambition. The way Leo is healing and recovering, they're keeping their mind focused on building their new environment. I really do feel like someone is building a house. Someone's building a house. Let's see what's going on in the um let's go on, what's going on in this in the shadows. Leo is in a whole bunch of one-sided relationships or something. You know what I'm saying? Like the relationships are one-sided because these people feel so much for Leo, but Leo is so focused on respecting their new ambition like they don't they're not present in this shit like they're just their friends you know what i'm saying please know that without doubt you know what i'm saying they're like they're, these are going to be one-sided relationships and this is cowardly in reverse like there ain't no like ain't no coward in leo like that that's not that's definitely not leo i feel like these are one-sided relationships without a doubt and leo has no problem with letting people know. And I feel like a lot of people are butthurt about this shit. But. And Leo, Leo is moving on. Um, building his house and shit. What is this? An embarrassment. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it is a one-sided relation. So, okay. Someone was dealing with Leo. And it was one-sided. Leo tried to make it clear to you. Without a doubt. That they did not feel the way. That you feel. But y'all look cool. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like slightly. Maybe Leo did lead this person on. Because this person was trying to plan something with Leo. 
No, I don't feel like Leo let this person on because Leo, this person let Leo on. Because Leo came to the table. Leo went to the wood, to the wood shop. Leo's embarrassed. Leo's embarrassed because Leo feel like you played with them. But the only thing about Leo, like Leo don't stay in this embarrassment at all. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you did was they actually tried to take you serious and shit like that. And you embarrassed them down at that. You know what I'm saying? You embarrassed them down there. They walked away, left everything there. And they said, fuck this shit, I'm about to just go out here and be a hoe. You know what I'm saying? I'm just about to go out here and get my dick sucked and yeah, like, fuck all this shit. Without a doubt, nigga, I ain't got no problem with telling y'all this. And I ain't got no embarrassment about this shit. Listen, y'all want to suck my dick and y'all want to fall in love and shit like that. And y'all want to get some dick and fall in love. That's on you, like, you going to be the one sitting here in embarrassment and shit. I ain't no coward about letting you know. There ain't no doubt about this shit. You, feel, you feeling this shit on your own? I don't feel this shit. Every time I put myself out there and I try to listen to y'all hoes and you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, but this is how Leo talk. This is how Leo feel. Let me continue. <laughs> He's saying, every time I put myself out there and I be listening to y'all hoes, like y'all be really serious about some commitment and shit like that. Y'all always, y'all don't never bring this shit to the table. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not perfect. But motherfucker, neither is you. So don't sit there and act like you didn't do shit that make me walk away. Don't sit there and do fuck shit and then be sitting up there acting like I'm the damn problem. Like I didn't try. Bitch, I tried. You ain't even show the fuck up. So if you ain't show the fuck up, shut the fuck up. You need to have an awakening, okay? This is the love deck, okay? There was an awakening. Leo is best by their motherfucking self. Like, I like I tried to do this shit. Y'all, yeah, you just made a whole fucking fool of me. Fuck you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they don't need no guide right now. Like, Leo is... Leo doing shit on their own. They don't need to follow nobody. They don't need to follow no trends. Like, nah. I ain't, I ain't trying to... No. Mm-mm. I ain't trying to do it. They was at a crossroads. You understand? Leo was at a crossroads. And they're not, they're not being guided what other people got to say about this situation and what they should do in regards to love. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're their own self guy. Leo know what their heart needs. They know, only Leo knows what they went through to get to this awakening. Because when people go through these awakenings, they've been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? And they had to go through some solitude to have reflection and shit like that. You know? And they realize that the guy that they were following in the past, it wasn't necessarily the right thing. So it's like, I got to be my own self God. I can't follow what everybody and everybody else is doing because only I know what I went through to go through this um, awakening. Only I know what's in my mind in this solid place of solitude. So I can't just be guided and just, I can't, I can't, I can't entertain everybody that want to entertain me. You know what I'm saying? And I was a crossroads at I was at a crossroads about this at one point in time because I felt like I needed to be out there. Like I just got out of this relationship. Let me entertain and get up under some somebody else. But like, no, the best thing for me is to be by myself and to heal myself and focus myself on uplifting my environment and continue evolving. You know, let me finish my work. Respect my ambition right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put this shit on pause for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and I can't, I don't see me bringing nothing out of the pause. You know what I'm saying? This shit gonna stay on the long-term pause right now. You know? Because right now I'm at the crossroads in the middle of my life and I'm, I know which direction I'm going. I can't get where I'm going with all of this shit going on right here. And this shit ain't even a mountain or nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? The four pinnacles in my life, it ain't even a mountain or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So why the fuck should I be focusing on new people, old people, any people? Fuck. Motherfucker talking about they was going to meet me at the woodshed, ain't even show up, and I fucked around, found somebody that delivers to me. Okay? And I built this shit by my fucker, so fuck y'all. I'm about to get the security system, and I'm about to let my pit bulls out in the yard, so y'all better get the fuck out them bushes, because, bitch, they eat raw meat, bitch. Fuck out of here. Okay? <laughs> Leo saying they don't want you again. Here go Leo saying they don't want you again. 
<laughs> eight of chalices leo does not want to be with you they are repelled by you they are appalled by the fact that you keep trying to make advances towards them leave leo the fuck alone any cups of love that they have for you they threw it in the Anacostia River, bitch. And I promise you, you're not about to go in the Anacostia River. Go find that shit. They done moved. Leo has moved, so they don't even live where you live anymore. Okay? That world, that chapter is over. They're in a new environment. They're a new person. I don't even think that they're a new, the, the same person that you used to know anymore you understand what i'm saying they don't have any strength to deal with this situation because it's not something that is worthy of their energy do you understand what i'm saying it's not worthy of their energy so leo moved on and you need to move on too get out of these bushes because like at seven o'clock, like Leo is going to let the pit bulls out so they can get some air and go take a shit. And if those pit bulls, you know, and they got and Leo got the electrical fence around it. So like once that gate is closed and once you did me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like Leo is not going to keep addressing you. Leo is not going to deal with you. Leo already knows about situations like this they don't want to deal with it they dealt with it before and they're not going to waste their energy on it they set a certain parameter of security around them to deal with motherfuckers that don't know how to listen respect my ambition you understand what i'm saying <laughs> respect my ambition ever you listen or you're going to be part of the kitchen <laughs> Either you listen or you're going to be a part of the kitchen. You're going to be a part of some doggy chow. Bow wow. Okay. All right. So watch out for them dogs, y'all. Okay. Get out of the bushes. Okay. Because the thing is, like, and the, and the thing is, it's like, y'all think Leo's stupid. Leo see y'all in the bushes over there, but they walking right past you. Acting like they don't see you because when they go in the house, they letting the pit bulls out. And they put in that fucking um they locking that gate and putting the electric charge on it so you can't get out beloved like i told y'all leo not playing okay i'm gone listen <laughs> i'm gonna pray for y'all y'all leave leo alone little lamb little lamb you're gonna be some lamb chops for some pit bulls stop it beloved he going in that house to to turn that gate on and let them dogs. Okay, I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.